hey, I just heard about this use case of uh, differentiating calendar events inside Google Calendar based on whether they are internal events or external events. Now, internal events are the ones where you know you are meeting with your colleagues within your organization, and external events where you might be meeting with a vendor or supplier or customer. And the rationale behind uh, doing some sort of visual differentiation between these events is, let's say in case if you need to uh, reschedule a meeting or maybe accommodate any immediate request that you got, uh, it's easy or it's it's okay to move the internal meetings than the ones which are scheduled with external parties like your customers. So uh, I just uh, did a quick app script and I'll show you how it works. Essentially, once you have the setup in place, whenever there is an event inside your Google Calendar which has external parties outside your domain, the color of that event will be changed automatically so you know this which will give you some sort of visual uh, differentiation so let me share my screen here uh, and this is the script i'll put that uh, under this video you can just copy and paste it essentially what you need to do is uh, once you copy the script oops you will go to script.google.com uh, create a new project okay and then just copy the script which you will see there paste it and once you paste the script, what you need to do is, uh, and, and by the way, in the script, you will see this URL, which talks about uh, the color of the external events. So you can just you know, take any color. So I'm taking red uh, to, you know, to uh, make the external events red color. So you can just change. Uh, from 11 to any other number based on your color preference okay and once we have the script this essentially the script will fetch your domain name and then it will look at all your calendar events uh, pick a get uh, get the guest list for each of those uh, events and then compare uh, parts the domain name of the guests email and then compare your domain versus guest domain and in case if they don't match that means you have invited somebody or the event has somebody who is outside your domain then it will go ahead and change the color of that event to uh, this color okay so now we need this to take place automatically without even we need to come here and click on run and for that app script is great because it offers triggers so you will go to triggers and under triggers you will add a new trigger and uh, you will say this is the function name that we created. And then uh, head, instead of time driven, let's make it from calendar. And we will say whenever calendar is updated, run this script or this function. In case if it, and uh, calendar email, okay. My primary email as the owner of this calendar. Click on save, and in case if anything uh, happens wrong with the script, notify me immediately. Save it. Okay, so this is done. Now uh, I'll go to calendar and I'll create a couple of events for today. Uh, so, for example, let me create one where I will call it internal event. Okay, and then I will invite, uh, yeah, this is internal to me, do not send. So that's internal, and I will create one more that I will say external event, and then I will in invite somebody outside my domain. Uh, save it, do not send. Uh, invite all guests. So what I'm expecting now is within a few seconds uh, it was uh, very quick by the way you see that as soon as uh, it the script ran uh, as soon as the calendar is updated and it changed the external event to red color now this is the internal event because i invited somebody from my domain itself so let me edit it and also like this is my domain right id dot goldierer.com and this user is also in my domain but now I will invite myself which is outside of this domain and save it I mean 
uh, and I'm expecting because now this is not internal event anymore because it has an external party. So that should be changed to red as soon as the script detects that there was a uh, uh, update in my calendar event. So I'll click on save. Uh, do not send and wait for a few seconds. Uh, and this internal event should turn red and it did. So this is how it works. I know it's a very quick uh, use case. I thought to just script it and uh, show you how this utility can help in case if you need to do something similar. Okay, thank you so much. And and by the way, uh, the script is just a quick uh, uh, stuff that I did. I didn't think much about it. So in case if you need to do more things with it, maybe instead of just changing the color, you might need to prepend external in the event title or do something else. Feel free to just uh, you know, use your uh, user on tweaks to it. Thank you and have a nice day.